ASIN Renewables is focused on the development, construction and long-term operation of large-scale renewable assets, principally wind, solar, batteries and pumped hydro. ASIN Renewables uh, saw an opportunity in coming to Australia. We are uh, the second biggest uh, country that they're investing in. We may even get bigger than the, the home country. And part of that is the sheer scope of investment that's needed. The, the change, the decarbonisation of the Australian economy and environment um, whether it be in just pure power generation for lights and power or whether it's to do with powering businesses that are changing over to decarbonise the agricultural sector and the like. It's, it's huge. External people can see that investment opportunity. You've got largely a stable environment. You know, Australia is seen as a safe place to put money in there. So I think those things are driving that international interest. Our relationship with ASIN started a number of years ago with the inception of New England Solar Farm and since then we've really developed a, a strong partnership with ASIN. What this latest opportunity really provided was for us to again work with ASIN to deliver an outcome supporting multiple renewable energy assets across a broad range of projects. It's critical to get local bank involvement in this. It, it helps bring, um, I think, credibility to the projects. It is a challenge and, as quite rightly, financiers are keen to see and understand projects. And we're talking about projects with long lead times, with lots of moving parts. You've got new technologies which are not necessarily well understood. And then the other matter, of course, is the, the long-term income strain and understanding what is going to be like the future electricity price, PPA arrangements and the like. So there are some real challenges there. Historically, we've been doing wind and solar for a very long time as an institution, but what we're really starting to see now is storage assets and particularly batteries at the moment really being prevalent in the market, acknowledging that in order to achieve the energy transition, we are going to need this dispatchable firm power into the grid. We've focused on wind, solar, battery and pumped hydro as, as projects that will give us a balanced portfolio that will enable us to build a business that can best sell its product. So that diversity of technologies allows for access to resources that occur at different times. This is critical for Australia in terms of the transition to enable um, a, the, a very wide grid, which is, you know, Australia has one of the, the most uh, geographically dispersed grids in the world. So these distribution of projects and project types allow for energy to be delivered across that grid. In the international context, Australia can, can always do more to, to lead. We are a world leader in many other areas. This is an area we should be leading in given our abundance of resources.